Aloha, my name is Jolene Herrera. My name is Sun Wang. And today we'll be presenting a video tutorial on an article titled Spreadsheet Safety, written by Jennifer Cree and John Penley in the November 1998 issue of the Journal of Accountancy. The main topic of this article is about ensuring a safe spreadsheet design. They recommend having a worksheet titled Identification, which includes the name, author, creation date, and an outline for your spreadsheet and also having a couple of model worksheets, one dedicated for inputting your data and then another worksheet for the calculation and results. And also in this video we'll be reviewing macros and how to protect cells and worksheets. So here we have the identification worksheet listing the spreadsheet name, the authors, the creation date, file name, and a brief outline of what the spreadsheet will be covering. So uh, this company uh, showed them monthly uh, sales report. The company actually they have a, a different kind of products that instruments, and then here they will show the uh, the price column and the quantity column. So right now you can see the price column is empty. So we're gonna use a macro function to uh, create a very quick uh, function to show the price so that we can do the rest of this step. So first we click uh, the developer and then we can start the okay. start we call the macro. We put my pace, my pace and then control C P okay. Right, and we put piano such as um, two thousand, uh, one thousand, five hundred, and three hundred, two thousand, um, and yeah, five hundred, something like that. And okay, finish. We just stopped it, and. So delete that. Oops. Just clean it. Right. And then we right now we can insert say I'll get to my place it. Just okay. And insert eyes. And then, yeah, just click that, install that. Okay, so now we have both our prices and our quantities inserted, but the only thing we want um, the users to be inputting are the quantities because the prices are a fixed amount um, related to the macro. So I have this highlighted in gray here because that's the only area that the users can um, change the values. So to allow that, we go to allow users to edit ranges. A new range, we'll name it quantity. Refers to cells right there. Okay. And then apply that. And now we're going to protect the sheet with the password ABC. And by doing that, the only information the user will be able to change is the quantity. See, it says that it's protected and read only, but in the quantity, you can change it to whatever you like. So right now we uh, use the next one uh, to have a reference. So like the pies, we turn back to that one. And hit that. Then just kick, just go check and down. The same method for the quality so yep this is the so that automatically because we have we created um yeah, macro and then we just uh checking down all the information and then the total sales column we show automatically that is so we already inserted the formula here to multiply the price by the quantity to come up with the total sales and the monthly sales down here is the sum of all of these 
And so the last thing we're going to do in this tutorial is protect this whole worksheet. Go to Review, Protect Sheet, ABC again. And now nothing on the results page can be changed, um, making sure that you have the accurate sales values. Okay, that's the end of our tutorial. Mahalo, Mahalo for watching.